Ben from Snowy's here, folks, today with a common instant swagger stretcher. This is either a stretcher by itself or an awesome base for the common instant swagger 1P10. Hit it. So this is a large and really sturdy stretcher with an instant up frame and clips that integrate seamlessly with the Swagger 1P10. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. So we're down here at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park in the hills in Adelaide and I've got with me the common instant Swagger stretcher. I'm gonna run through how to set this up and all the features today. So. This is something that's ideally used in conjunction with the Coleman Instant Swagger 110. I've got the inner set up behind me here. We'll show you a bit more of that in shortly. Um, so it can be used just as a stretcher by itself, but that integrates with this stretcher for a whole sleep system. When you buy a stretcher, this is how it comes. It weighs around about 11 kilos, about 110 centimeters in length and about 20 centimeters in height and depth. Durable canvas, or sorry, polyester uh, carry bag that it comes in. I'll show you for starters what comes inside. So pretty straightforward, um, in the bag there is some instructions attached here uh, that show how to set it up and also how to attach the tent to the top of it. Now they do actually show in the instructions here to lay it flat down, like upside down. I've got really wet grass and mud here today so I'm gonna try and do it without laying it upside down. So inside the bag, a couple of steel poles which go on the ends of the stretcher and then you get this stretcher itself which is all sort of bundled up here. Now you have to excuse us, it's a bit muddy here today. We have set this up and there's a few wet patches um, the other thing you get now, I, I can't recall whether these come attached to the stretcher when you buy it, but don't lose these. These are the clips that go in the corner of the stretcher that actually secure the swagger tent to the stretcher if that's how you're going to use it. So I'm going to put those on the carry bag over here so I don't lose them. We'll show you how they get set up later. Now to set this up, I'm, kinda, I'm gonna do it so that I don't have to lay it down in the wet grass here um, today. So I'll flip it around so you can sort of see what I'm doing. Now this could be easier with two people, but if you kind of lie it on its side and then start to separate the legs out, you can see these legs come out as this kind of separates because it's got this sort of concertina thing here. So if you keep going all the way and straighten it right out until it gets to this point here. Now, if I let it go, it wants to collapse all the time. So you kind of at this point need to sort of lay it over a bit so that it sits like that. Now, if you've got a second person, it's a bit easier because it's big to, sort of stretch it out and make sure it's set up properly. Now I'll come on the other side because we need to grab the poles or these poles here that I've left underneath. And these go in the ends of the stretcher. Now they've got holes in them at each end here and they line up, they go in these slots here. So this hole lines up with this little lug here. But before we put it in there, we need to put it through the sleeve on the end of the stretcher here. So slide this through and then come up to the end Line this hole up with the lug there and push that down into place. Come over to the other side, you wanna do the same thing. So see it's too long here at the moment, but if I push this down, the stretcher stretches out until that can then lock into place and that's now tight across the top there. The same thing at this end of the stretcher, but what you'll find is that this one's a little harder to put in because we need to get the skin of the stretcher to be tight. So this is gonna require a little bit more muscle just to stretch this into place. So just be careful you don't pinch your fingers, keep them clear of the plastic. Okay, so a bit of muscle to get that into place. If you have a look at the stretching out, it looks a bit funny. It's kind of standing up in the middle here. We need to push that down. If we go and grab this pole on the end here, we're gonna pull it up and out. So make sure you grab the sides. You just kind of need to pull the corners out and then just jump in the middle here, put some weight down so that that sits down in the middle there. If this leaves up a little, it doesn't matter because when you lie on it, it's gonna flatten out anyway. So just go to both sides, put a bit of weight on there, make sure it flattens down and those middle legs have touched the ground as well. And that's the stretcher set up. The only other thing we wanna do now, and as I mentioned, I don't remember if these, when I unpacked this, came attached to the stretcher or not. I'd recommend just leaving them packed up, um, attached to the stretcher when you're not using them, but they go in the corners here. so. If we put it through this hole with that pin, drop it down through the hole and then loop this over the bottom. So I think they call it a cotter pin. That just stays on there. Now this is for securing the tent to the stretcher. I'll show you that in a sec. I wanna run through all the stretcher features first. I'll put these in place. We'll go through the features then I'll show you how the tent integrates with the stretcher. Now the stretcher is made of, this fabric is a 600 denier polyester. So a nice durable, it's a common fabric that's used in most camp chair stretches, that sort of thing. So it's a durable fabric. 
Um, not padded, just a single layer of fabric, but nice and tough. So there's nylon binding around the edges and reinforced where it needs to be. This is just a slightly stiffened panel that goes over the top of this hinge here so you don't get any pinch points because that, that can sort of fold together there so that just avoids pinching. And this frame is a heavy duty steel frame put together with little steel components. If we have a look at the corners though, there are some uh, nylon or plasticky sort of flexible heavy duty um, components here. So on the corner you've got um, this plastic uh, cap on the end here which incorporates that pin and also the poles going into it and also the feet on the bottom here are covered in mud at the moment but that's a, a plastic foot there as well but a durable flexible plastic so no concerns there at all. The dimensions for the stretcher uh, 219 or let's call it 220 centimeters in length from sort of the very end to the very end but if we talk about usable space, which is inside the bar here, because you're not going to lie on this, you want to give yourself about 210 centimetres from sort of just inside here to the same at the other end. And as for width, about 109 centimetres from end to end here, but give yourself about a metre of actual usable space between the frame here. So they're dimensions to keep in mind when you're wanting to put a, a mattress on top of here. If it fits inside these boundaries, it's good, but it can stick up over the edge as well, but that gives you a pretty good idea. Now, now height-wise, to the top of this bar here, depending on sort of how much weight you've got on top, it's around about 40 to 42 centimeters, but the stretcher sags down in the middle here. So if I sit directly down on this, it's probably down to 30 to 35 centimeters where I'm sitting, but by the time you sort of even your weight out across the whole stretcher, doesn't sag down as much um, and you probably got about 35, maybe 40 centimetres of clear stretcher there. With regards to comfort, it feels just as you'd expect a stretcher like this to feel, I suppose. It's just a tight panel of fabric um, that you're lying on. Feels quite taut, feels comfortable, certainly would benefit from a mattress on top of it which is going to add comfort. It's also going to add insulation to the stretcher because it's not going to be uh, warm sleeping straight on top a strip of fabric like this and the stretcher is rated to 150 kilos so um, plenty of uh, plenty of stability for even the larger people and also a consideration if you want to put a swag or something on top so at a 10 kilo swag on top of uh, someone who's um, maybe a little bit um, heavier you still got heaps of room for the weight rating on this and that takes us to the next setup for this which is integrating the swagger 1p instant up tent which I've got set up here with just the inner. This also has a fly that goes over the top with a vestibule and an awning. We've got other product videos on that. You can use all of those features in conjunction with the stretcher here. So the stretcher is designed to have the same footprint as the Swagger One tent. And this is where these little clips that we talked about come into play. So that just sits on there and it kind of collapses off the side a little bit, it moves around. If we undo these clips and then the Swagger has these brass eyelets here. We put the pin through the brass eyelet and then down through the stretcher, the hole in the stretcher, and do that up. Just have to push it through, clip it in place. That secured that corner. Come to this corner and you'll note that the brass eyelet on this one is perfectly spaced to fit this pin right on the corner there. So there's one of these in each corner. That's four locations that we can secure the tent. And it means that this is nice and not really tight, but it's, it's, there's no slack in here. On top of that, there's guy ropes integrated into this tent that allow you to peg it down while it's on the stretcher. So this is designed to be used with this stretcher. It's a separately available product, but it works with this stretcher and all the guy ropes awning poles and everything are designed to, for it to be set up as one sleep system. So two more to clip in at that end and you'll be able to see an awesome single person setup. So you can see now that the Swagger 1P10 is attached to our instant Swagger stretcher. Now everything about the Swagger 10 is made such that it can be used either flat on the ground or ideally used with the stretcher. So you've got these guy ropes that will peg to the ground. The vestibule and the awning that sits at the front of the stretcher has got long enough guy ropes and long enough poles so you can set everything up here ergonomically so you've got space to sit and the shelter works really well. So it's ideally used together. So two, two separate products that are ideally used together. But this video is about the stretcher and I wanna show you how to pack it up again. So first thing I need to do is take the swagger one off the top. Just make sure when you take these pins out that you don't lose them, put them back in the stretcher here, clip them in place because they're 
the most likely thing in this setup that you're going to leave at the campsite. So I've undone the four clips, the tent comes straight off. I realise what I haven't done yet is a good wobble test on this stretcher here because it is really sturdy. If I try and wobble this frame, it, it doesn't move much at all. There's a lot of cross leg sort of thing going on underneath here. End to end, it doesn't wobble much because you've got these bars here. So it is a really sturdy stretcher. It doesn't move much at all once you've got some weight on there. So some of them rock side to side, but this one doesn't. Now setup is pretty straightforward with this one. Once you've done it a few times, you kind of get a feel for how the frame works is pretty straightforward. So first thing is to take the poles out of the end here. Now I'm gonna leave these clips in so I don't lose them. So I'll remove this pole, put that somewhere where you're not gonna forget it. So I'm gonna reach across and grab my bag here, put them straight in the bag so I don't lose that one. Pull the pole out of the other end here as well, straight in the bag. And then to fold this up, I'm gonna, if you've got two people, it's a bit easier, but I'm gonna stand it up on its side like this. So I'll sort of pick it up and lay it down. Now, as soon as I do this, it's gonna start to want to fold up. As it folds, these legs come inwards. Being careful of pinch points, there are um, signs on here to just be careful of pinch points for your hands. Pull this fabric up out the top. I found to be easier so it doesn't get pinched into the frame there. This can then fold down this way. Now, as we do this, we want to make sure this fabric is in between these two flaps here. So fold that up and make sure it's in there. If you don't, this fabric kind of pulls over the top of this point, the folds here, and it can damage the fabric. So just make sure that's tucked in there and then fold these in to the center like this. So you can see that fabric is in between there. Same on the other side here. Fold that in. Kind of straighten this fabric out as best you can and fold it or sort of wrap it around the frame. So fold that out like a triangle, roll that over there and wrap the fabric around the frame. We can now slot it back in the bag and this bag is slightly oversized, so it does actually go in there relatively easily. The hardest bit is just getting these flaps inside the bag here. So just persevere a little. Certainly not hard, it's just the hardest bit. And you can see that that zip, without too much effort, actually meets up for the entire length of the stretcher there. So that does up nice and easy. So a bag that's actually made for the size of the stretcher. You can see at this end here, I've just got some fabric caught up there. So just got to tuck that inside and heaps of room there. So that's how you set up, pack away, and all the features of the instant swagger stretcher from Coleman, ideally used in conjunction with the Coleman instant 1P swagger tent behind me here. So if you've got one of these, you've got yourself a stretcher just to sleep on straight up or something that you could put a tent or integrate a tent on top of. If you've got any questions on this, let us know down in the comments below, or you can check out all of our details at snowies.com.au where you'll find them at our lowest prices every day.